Hello everyone, Dan Herr with Dan Herr Prospecting here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. I hope to earn your subscription today. Throughout the year, I have all sorts of companies send me pay dirt to review on my channel. And of course, I love reviewing pay dirt. Of course, I'm gonna do it. Anything that gets sent to me, I will review on my channel. However, I thought rather than reviewing them just periodically throughout the year, I'd save them up and do a pay dirt week. So this week is pay dirt week. I've got five different pay dirts to review all down in front of me here. They're all very different from very different companies and we're gonna review them all and see what they all have in them. Hope you enjoy. Now I plan to release one review every day for the next five days. So I'm gonna start off the week doing Clash Guitars, Clash Crumbs, Pay Dirt. Clash does hundreds of video reviews of Pay Dirt, and he took all his knowledge and put it all together to make what he thinks is the best Pay Dirt on the market. I'll explain more about that in a minute. I also have a little sample bag from Eureka Gold Sands. You can see it's a $15 bag. It's small, and it should have some pretty nice gold in it. I've done Eureka lots before, and Eureka has some pretty nice Pay Dirt. I have a new one to me. This came from Grant, from Nuggets by Grant. Nuggets by Grant is selling this, the, the Irwin's pay dirt. He's selling it on his Nuggets by Grant uh, page. When he sent me that nugget to give away in my last video, he also sent me a bag of pay dirt to do a review of. So I've got Irwin's pay dirt. I've got the pan in the can. This is from the Nip and Tuck Mine. Nip and Tuck Gold Mine pan in the can here. I don't really know much too much about this. I haven't even uh, done too much research on it, but before I film this one, I will, and I'll have lots of good information about it. It's a heavy one. And then we're gonna finish it all off with some Dan Hurd prospecting pay dirt. Now I, can, I know I can't do a trustworthy review of my own pay dirt, but I'm gonna pan out a bag anyways and show you what's in my own pay dirt. This is gem and gold pay dirt. So it's got all sorts of gemstones, gold, silver, all sorts of stuff in that one. And I'm gonna finish off the pay dirt review week with my own. You can get on my website, www.danherdprospecting.com. Let's start off by talking about Clesh's Clesh Crumbs. This is a $50 bag of pay dirt. It is a half pound of dirt mixed with at least half a gram of gold. It might have up to a full gram of gold in it. The gold he used in this pay dirt partly comes from all the pay dirts he reviews on his channel. He's put it all together, mixed up what he thinks is the perfect mix of pay dirt and put it together. Now Clesh has a website for this, kleshcrumbs.com where he sells this pay dirt. Currently, it's out of stock, and I don't know if he's getting any more in the near future. But check it out, kleshcrumbs.com. Now first, let's look at it in the pan. Nice. Yes, Shane, that was for you. Okay, we're gonna open up this Clesh Crumbs pay dirt, pour it in the pan, and see what it looks like. Now for this review, I'm not gonna classify this. I'm gonna put it in just the way it comes. I like to do these pay dirt reviews au naturel. No, not in the nude. I like to do them just natural, the way they come. So. It's nicely sealed up in one of these Mylar bags, Ziploc bags, nice tough bag. Open it up here. There we go. And that's what it looks like inside the bag. No visible gold on top. But let's see it in the pan. Oh. <laughs> okay, and with these Mylar bags, really make sure you shake them out because they tend to get gold caught in the bottom corners. And that's what the material looks like, dry. What do I see in here? Well, I see pyrites. I see shiny pyrites all over the place. Don't see any gold, at least not yet. Most of the material in here seems to be minus eighth inch, although the odd larger rock. 
And one thing I should point out is all of these dirts have been sent to me by the manufacturer, by the seller, by the person that makes the pay dirt. So I'd like to believe that they're not fraudulent in any way and they're just sending me a typical bag but there's always that chance that they've added a little bit extra because it's going out on my youtube channel with shane from clash guitars guarantee he didn't that's not shane's style well let's get this wet in my crusty rusty well it's not very crusty and it's definitely not rusty it's plastic but again shane that's for you if you don't watch Shane Guitar's channel, you should. To start with, you should. It's awesome. He, he makes amazing content. You should be watching his channel. Uh, and um, you might notice that I'm actually using a lot of lines he commonly uses in his channel. Just to honor him a little bit. Okay, let's get this wet. There we go, mixed up nicely. Not very muddy, that's kind of nice. We're going to stratify this down. Let me turn the pan around. I like using the big riffles, not the little riffles. We're going to stratify this down. And then wash off the mud. Get rid of the mud. So I can have another close look. Now, as I was getting ready to pan this out, I saw on my big computer over there, a message came in from Shane. So I went and had a look at it, and here's what Shane has to say about his pay dirt. Hey Dan, what's up man? Um, so, as far as pay dirt, as far as me selling pay dirt, I don't have any plans right now, but I will in the future. Um, and then, as far as knowing how to get it, I would just keep them updated on my, on my show. So that's about it. Hope everything's going good up there in the BC, man. Thanks, Shane, for getting back to me. Anyhow, let's continue on checking out this dirt. Okay, here's what we look like. Wet, nice looking material. Very similar to what you would see on the Fraser River where I pan. Now let's pan her down. Again, pans very similar to just your typical river gravels. Few bigger angular rock, angular rocks in here. Get rid of those. Now black sands are coming through. Let's have a look at that. We're starting to see some black sands and even a speck of gold down in the corner. Bring it down to the bottom and try again. I should note I have jet dry in this water already to make sure none of the fine gold floats away. I'm seeing gold. I'm seeing gold. There's gold in that there pan. It's not a nugget, is it? Nope, just a rock. Okay, now we are here. Let's reveal what's in this pan. There's black sand, lots of black sand, some heavy black rocks, magnetite rocks, and in the bottom of the heavies, there it is. Beautiful Klesh Guitar Gold. Thanks, Shane. That's awesome. Now look at that. There's a lot of it there. Nice looking stuff. Flakes, small pickers, all sorts. Put 
it all in one spot. And reveal. Now Shane from Clash Guitars says that every every bag guarantees every bag of his has somewhere between 0.5 and 1 gram of gold. And this looks to be a 0.5, if I have to guess. Now I'll definitely dry it out and weigh it and show you, but that looks to be 0.5 of a gram of gold. And now I moved it into the smaller pan to do my final cleanup here. And there we be. I'll dry that out now and weigh it up. Okay, let's have a look at Clash's gold and see how much it weighs. And Clash's gold weighs... 0.526, well, 0.528 grams. And as guaranteed, there's at least half a gram of gold in his pay dirt. Okay, we're gonna take that and just put it into one of these little weigh boats here, oops, without spilling it. Because the weigh boats always give you a much better idea of how clean it is and make a much better picture. You see I left a little bit of black sand in there, but not very much. If you're taking pictures of gold, make sure you have a white background. It makes a big difference. Now on my computer, I'm going to go onto a gold value calculator. And you can just find one by searching for a gold calculator. There's lots of them out there. Uh, and I'm going to figure out what half a gram of gold, I'm going to guess that's 18 carat. We're going to go conservative and guess it's 18 carat. We're going to see what that's worth. So on the gold calculator, we're going to say it's 0.5 grams. We're going to say it's 18 carat. And we're going to, the price today is 15.87 a gram. We're going to calculate that out. And the total gold value in here is $19.14. However, I'm finding that the value of placer gold, if you want to go and buy yourself placer gold, it's more around spot value. To buy placer gold these days, you're going to be buying, you're going to be paying about spot value. I had to run out for an appointment there. I am back now, sporting a new haircut. As I was saying before I left, I'm finding that buying placer gold, you're paying almost exactly spot value doesn't matter what the carat value of the placer gold is. But if you want to buy yourself placer gold, you'll be paying about spot. So this is about $25 worth of placer gold here. Now before I do any conclusions with this, I need to point out, because I know lots of people will comment on it, pay dirt will never make you money. You don't do any kind of pay dirt to make a profit. Pay dirt is for fun, for practice, for entertainment, you don't do it to make money. Every single pay dirt company out there has to make money, otherwise they wouldn't be doing this. So you never make a profit doing pay dirt.
There may be a chance for a bonus bucket or something like that, but in general, overall, you lose money doing pay dirt. You pay for the opportunity. So having said that, looking at Klesh's crumbs, it's about a 50% return on investment. It's a $50 bag. There's about $25 worth of gold in there. Is it worth $25 to you to have the experience of gold panning on your own to find treasure for yourself? Well, that's up to you. That's up to your situation, your financial situation. That's up to you. But for Klesh's bag, that's about a 50% return on investment. And of course, if you get one of those bonus bags, it would be closer to 100%. Now, other than showing you some fancy pictures of this gold, that's it for today's pay dirt review. Make sure you tune in tomorrow where I'm going to be evaluating the Irwin's pay dirt bag given to me by Nuggets by Grant. And I'm going to see what this heavy, heavy one pound bag holds in it for gold. I hope you enjoyed my review of Klesh's Crumbs. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button, leave me a comment, tell me what you think. And if you're new to my channel and you like watching prospecting at home or in the field, please consider subscribing. I have hundreds of more videos on YouTube and I will be making hundreds more in the future. If you like this one, there's a good chance you'll like others. Please check me out on Facebook and Instagram and a big thanks to my patrons for your support. Until the next one, everyone. Bye.